Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this tutorial, we will be learning about how to use WX Python's uh, notebook widget. So, in WX Python, um, there's a widget that lets you add tabs to your to your uh, application. So, like in a lot of applications, like your um, your browser, you have, you can open multiple tabs at once. You can do the same thing in WX Python if you know how. Um, there's actually several different kinds of of uh, notebook widgets in Python, but we're going to focus just on WX Notebook for this particular tutorial. Um, I think we'll import the random module too, because I like to use it for demonstration purposes. All right, so first things first, let's create our demo. Notebook, call it Notebook Frame. We always put everything inside of a frame to start off with. And then we just need an init. Let's see, we can do wx.frame. Frames don't need a parent, so we'll set that to none. Give it any ID, and the title can be a notebook. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit, oops. Make that text a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Expand that out. All right, so we've got the title. And we'll set the size to something useful, like 600 by 400. All right. So we need a panel to write on and hold all of our stuff. And then we need to create a notebook widget. So quick, we need a dirty way to do that is just do wx.notebook and give it the panel for its uh, parent widget, and then we need to create some tabs. So we'll do like tab one equals. Um, we, it needs to be like a like a another panel. We can't give it panel again because the notebook is already being used. So we need to create another class. Let's go up here and create a a tab panel, for lack of a better way to describe it. We'll call it that. And we'll create a new init. And it needs a parent for our panel. So we can do this and pass self, whoops, self and parent equals parent. Here's where we can do some, just do something kind of fun. Let's create a list of colors that we can use to set the background of our, of our panels as we add them. We'll just make it kind of fun that way. Um, I don't know, let's do green too. Then we can do self.set background color to random.choice of our colors. All right. I think that'll do for our panel. Now we can go back down here and create the rest of our code. All right, let's do that. So let's create our tab called tab one equals our tab panel. And in this case, we want its parent to be the notebook. So each uh, tab goes onto the notebook. That's why it becomes the parent. And then kind of counterintuitively, you tell the notebook that you're adding that page to it. So we'll add tab one to our notebook and we'll label it tab one. That'll be the title that goes in the tab. All right. So the last step for now, we'll just we'll stop right here and add a, add a sizer. Let's go ahead and add our sizer, which controls how stuff gets stretched out when you resize your frame. We'll add um, our notebook widget to the sizer. And we want the notebook to expand to completely fill the application. So that's why you use one that tells it to expand in both directions or to take up all the space anyway. Dibrix all. And the actual flag that you want to tell it to expand with is um, dibrix.expand. 
And the all refers to how much uh, border there is. So I'm going to have a border on all four sides, top, bottom, right, and left of five pixels. And then we can do panel.setSizer to our sizer. And then do self.show. And we're almost done. Let's create the application quick in our if name equals name main part. So app equals wx.app to start the app. We don't want it to redirect standard app right now. We need to create our frame, which is our demo. Okay. Then you need to start the main event loop of the app. So let's save this. See if I did everything right. All right, so we have one tab, awesome. And it randomly chose the background of that tab to be red. Um, let's go ahead and add another note, add another tab. So tab two also equals tab panel, also goes on our notebook. And then we just need to do add page, tab two. And we'll call that one tab two. So we run this code. Now we have two tabs, and now you can see it randomly selected gray for the background color of tab one. And now tab two is randomly selected to be to be red. So now we have two tabs, and you can just switch between them by clicking on them. And if you were to run this on Windows, the tabs would look more normal and start on the left. Or you can actually set whether the tabs run along the top or, or the side or the bottom as well, if you want to play around with that. Um, I believe it's a flag. Well, actually, why don't we go look it up? That'd probably be easier. So we will do dbx python, dbx.notebook, and see if we can find out how to do that quick. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay. So it's pretty obvious. Let's try this. I believe when you create the notebook, you can set the style flag. Oops, I copied the wrong thing. NB left. Let's try that. Yes, so now the tabs are on the left instead of the right. So you can play around with that. Obviously, the top is the default. But that's how you create a notebook in WX Python. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.